Fifteen civil society groups have co-signed a memorandum on electoral reforms to be presented to the National Assembly. This document serves as an essential resource and roadmap for lawmakers and election stakeholders. ADBN correspondent Peace Ogene Bawe attended the public presentation of this memorandum and completes the report. Efforts to address electoral challenges and enhance democratic processes have led to the creation of Citizens Memorandum aimed at reforming the electoral legal framework. At the presentation, Executive Director of the Center for Media and Society, Dr. Akin Akinbulu, outlined the documents. Our aim is to reposition the electoral legal framework against the backdrop of recent landmark judicial decisions that offer pathways for reform and to make the act more reflective of our evolving electoral needs. While discussing the memorandum's importance, founder of Elect Her, Ms. Ibijoke Faborode, emphasized that the proposed reforms are designed to ensure that election outcomes accurately reflect the will of the people. Citizens are more likely to participate in elections when they trust that their votes will count and the process is free from manipulation or undue influence. On the plan for the framework sustainability, country director of Yaga Africa stressed the need for ongoing discussions. What we are, you know, advocating is the need to look at a sanctioned regime, you know, for this kinds of behavior, but also to to Nigerians and the voters to understand the implication of selling their votes. There's a reason why politicians are targeting um, voters and urging them to sell their vote because votes are counting, you know, at elections. If they didn't matter, then the politicians will not be making that huge investment. The memorandum focuses on three core pillars with recommendations divided into two parts. If adopted by the National Assembly, these proposals will strengthen the independence of INEC, promote inclusivity, and ensure fairness among other objectives. Peace, Organic Bowie, ADBN News.